So some of you have been asking about accessing information on the GROW Curriculum's website. So I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough on how to do that. Okay, it's real simple. Open up whatever internet browser that you have. And in your address bar, type in growcurriculum.org. That will take you to this website that you see right here. Okay, and up here on the top right, you see login. So you click on that button. And depending upon uh, whether you are children or youth, um, you just type in FBC. In this case, we're going to do children. Uh, for the youth teachers, you will just type in FBC youth. Okay, and then uh, the password, which you should have. I'm not going to say that on here, but uh, it was texted and emailed out to everyone. Um, so if you don't have it, let me know. I will, I will get it to you. But it's the same either way, FBC children or FBC youth. You type in the password and then hit log in. And it will take you to the main Grow Curriculum web page. It looks exactly like it did when you initially got onto growcurriculum.org. It's just now you'll see this here showing that you are actually logged in instead of the log in. Okay, so from here, it's actually very simple. Um, everything that you see on this main page um, is uh, some information that, that you can look through. Um, it does have some videos. Mainly, honestly, this is for people who are, who are looking at ordering this, so you don't really have to worry much about it. Okay, um, what you do is you come up here to the very top. Okay, here's the kids curriculum for youth. Um, this little arrow that you see here will be to the right of this one for the youth kids uh, and for their curriculum. So this is under children's one. So, all right, um, you'll see it's white. As I go over the top of it, it becomes gray. And then this little box V4 user dashboard pops up. Uh, whether it's kids or students, either one, the exact same thing is going to happen. You just click on the V4 user dashboard and it will take you to the main page for accessing information. Uh, now again, the, the, the planning page is really more for, uh, for, for the pastors, for myself and whoever might become the children's pastor, um, if we can get one. Um, this is for them to give them some information as far as um, planning some things out. So you won't need to really worry much about anything. Um, except here's your teaching material. Um, there are other things under discipleship. If you want to look at events um, and start looking at some, some things we can do with our kids, that would be great. I'm always looking for some ideas and for some help to get those going. Um, you know, uh, extras for parents. That's also included in the teaching program, though. So all you really do is you want to click on, see how it goes. I'm over here. Everything's white. And when I go over the top of it, it becomes gray. It means you click on it. And it will take you to the teaching actual uh, program. So this is what you should see. Um, they recommend that you start off with blast off whenever you start. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start off with blast off. And basically it's just an introduction to this series. Um, and basically tell them, hey, you know what? Um, you need you need faith. You need uh, to start with a good foundation before you can take off. And so um, you will notice from there. Uh, blast off to the top and then because right now um, you know we are only in September it has August here in September um, curriculum and then it keeps going so as we get into October this will change a little bit the blast off will still be at the top but then you will um, you will see help and then you will see road trip um, but basically right here as you can see under the title for each one um, a four-week series of Ten Commandments recommended for October. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to follow uh, the recommended one except for the very, very beginning. We're not going to do the September one um, uh, because we're actually going to be starting in October. So uh, we're going to skip over that. We're actually not going to do this. We're going to save this for next October. Okay. Um, we're going to go through the blast off and then we will actually start with breaking news, which is recommended for November. Okay, um, they do that because they have this. They have this planned out. Okay, see here the next one. Wait for it. A four-week series on Advent and Christmas. So obviously we want that to be in December. So um, we will. Our first actual series from here will be breaking news in November. Um, we're going to save road trip 
and help um, and promise for next August, September, and October. We're actually going to start October 4th on Blast Off. This is real simple. If you want to, you can click on download the whole series. Um, you know, if you really want, you can. I don't recommend that because um, it, it's three gigabytes worth of data. Dropbox, um, only if you can't somehow direct download it to your computer. Um, you can click on this. Um, I've already done that, and what it does is I have a download folder right up here at the top of the computer. You'll see there, blast off. It has downloaded the whole thing, but it's 3.47 gigabytes of data, so it's quite a bit. Um, and then you can double click on that from there and open it from there if you want, but that's the whole thing. I don't recommend that. What I recommend is just coming right down here, okay? Um, customize the series, okay? Um, whether you're working with elementary or preschool kids, um, for the youth, it will say the same thing for students. Um, you click on the green word, and it opens up for you. And then here is the first week. You see Blast Off for preschool. This is week one. Obviously, this will change for elementary, junior high, high school. Um, and um, this is it right here. You can. What's great about this is you can do lots of different things with it. Um, over here to the right. It talks about the building blocks. You see the different colors that are listed here along each one of these things. Those coordinate to what's over on the left-hand side. As I scroll through this, you'll see the different colors change um, on the idea. So each one of these colors is coordinated with what's over here. Um, so, And what you can do is you customize this to what you want to teach. So, um, you know, Here's the big idea. We spend time with God, the Bible story, Jesus visits Mary and Martha in Luke 10, and then you just go through this. And, um, you know, what I would honestly recommend is just print, um, if you can from home, print it. If you want to print it from church, um, that's not a problem. We can do that as well. And then, um, you know, you can cross off what you don't want because basically what you do, you can go through this, and if you want, you can click on this trash can over here, and what it will do is it will delete this. Um, the problem with that is if you do that and then you accidentally somehow click save up here, it's that way for everybody. So if you want to edit this yourself, you can um, you can click on the, the trash can for the things that you don't want, and then come right up here and click print, but do not save it. So the next person that logs in um, has access to everything. Okay, but this has this has the whole thing in here. I mean, obviously, it's got tons and tons of um, things to do and stories to read. This is the preschool one. This is actually really short. If you go into the elementary one, it's two or three times as long as this, with lots more options to do uh, to keep them busy <laughs> and entertained and focused. Um, but you just go through and you select what you want to do, and based off of your teaching style and how much time you have and how active and interactive you want to be you get to t you get to take those picks so it's really simple um, I will go ahead and back out of this just so you can see the difference that was preschool and here is the elementary one as I said earlier it's quite a bit longer it has more information because you're dealing with kids who have more things um, more ways of learning this one does start with worship if you want um, it's got songs that uh, that it recommends for you you know, if you want to, you can. It's got links that you can click to actually get access to those songs. Um, but again, the exact same thing. It's it's color coordinated on the left. So if you're looking for something specific, it tells you what what over here on the right, what color to look for. You can look for that color, or you just scroll through slowly and choose what you want and what you don't want. But as you can see, even with elementary, it's quite a bit longer than with preschool. Um, so that's really it. You go through, you select what you want. And that's what you teach from. Not really too hard. Um, and then uh, what I would also recommend, uh, what's great is you can come down here and it's got an email. If you have email address, this is for parents. You can send, um, you can send things to parents. Um, if you want, not really, you know, I don't like to send things through email. I really, really don't. Um, but what you can do is Boom, here we go. You click on that. You can download the parent guide. 
And this is something I would recommend for each one of you to send home with your kids. Okay, you download that, and what it really is is just a guide of what we're going to be talking about. So mom and dad actually have something that they can they can keep, something that they can talk to their kids about when they get home and kind of follow up. Uh, with preschool, this would be difficult because, let's be honest, it's just preschool. But with our elementary kids, our youth kids, um, that will be very helpful for parents to hopefully follow up and get some more conversation with it. So um, it's got a tip, it's got a resource, it's got a question. Um, so great things that are on that page, okay? Um, so that is under the email parents and volunteers right under there. So that's really it. Um, the only thing I will show to you if you're interested, um, I'm going to try to do this because this is my phone, okay? Um, if you have a smartphone of any kind, okay, you can download the Grow app. It's right here. Um, it's really hard to see on that, isn't it? Um, it basically just says Grow in gray letters with a green little uh, looks like leaf trying to get it to actually focus on the camera and it's not really wanting to so I apologize <laughs> um, but you can download the grow app I'm not really a big fan of it I'll show you why if you open it up um, you can go to the exact same series um, but basically with this um, all it really has is it has a conversation guide so you can see the same thing we can spend time with God the same Bible verse but then it has um, a conversation and questions. So there's not really a whole lot to it um, on here. And so this would be good to have if you're just kind of, if you're just running late, um, you didn't have quite some time to look over everything. This will give you an opportunity just to at least have a conversation with uh, your kids, whether they're youth or, um, or children. But you'll see back on the main page, um, it's got all the, uh, it has all the, the different series that are on there. Um, the volumes, okay, we're in Kids 2. Um, that's where the, well, that's where the blast off starts. So again, I don't really recommend this unless you absolutely have to because there just isn't that much information here. You can see it's, it's very short. Um, and based just for a conversation, not really for teaching very much. Um, I would recommend, obviously, on a computer, doing it this way. It's just got so much more information and much, obviously a much better way for you to customize it to however you would like to teach. Um, obviously, if you have any questions, if you can't print and you want something printed, all you have to do is just let me know, and I will print it for you at the church. Um, or if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to go over that with you as well. I hope this really helps. It's really not that difficult. Once you get in, um, accessing the information is pretty simple. Um, the main thing is just going to be, do you want to print it? Or do you want to use your smart device, whether it's a tablet or a phone, to, to carry around things with you? So, again, if you have any questions, if you need anything, just let me know. Um, I'm always available for you guys and do the very best that I can. Um, but that's your walkthrough for Grow. Once you get done, I mean, all you have to do is come up here to this um, circle and you'll see accounts and log out. Hit the log out button and it'll take you right back to the main page so someone else can get on. And that's really it. So if you need anything, please just let me know. Um, thank you all for serving with our children and our youth. I cannot say thank you enough. I hope this helps us get you what you need. God bless you guys.